From the thumbnail preview screen, select DICOM Print. When the DICOM printer is launched, on Initial Setup, select the Printers tab, select the Settings tab, select the appropriate printer from the drop-down menu, and select the printer from the Targets menu, and select the type of film that is being used from the Film tab, select the size of film that is being used from the Film tab. We select also the proper size and format. Once that is done, you can test the printer with the test button. Now we're ready to grab the image to be printed, drag it into the print window. From here, we can edit the overlay for the patient demographics. We can change where the overlay will lay or drop on the image. We can change the color of the overlay from black text on a white background to white text on a black background. We can have a large, medium, or small overlay. And we can edit the fields that are in the overlay by choosing from this menu over here on the left and deciding what fields we want in the overlay, whether or not we want the field title printed on the print title, whether we want spaces, tabs, commas, or new lines in between these overlays, and where we want the text to appear on the overlay with the arrow up and down button. We can also label the uh, image with the address and data of the facility, such as an address and phone number. And we can choose again, white on black, black on white, and we can choose the location of that label. In this case, I've chosen down here for that label. And we can even add a logo using the browser button to navigate to our company logo and have that placed on the image in the area of location. From the image tab, we can also orient the image, choose landscape or portrait mode, segment our printer for multiple images, and we can zoom, magnify, window, and level, or we can force the image if zoomed to go back to full scale with the one-to-one -one, one -one button. We also have other features in here, such as removing the image, importing images from other locations, and exporting this image to a disk. Once we've set everything up the way we want, from the Printers tab, make sure the, the printer or the printer drawer is selected that we want, and select Print. And then we have the event log down here documenting what has happened.